everybody. Welcome back again. So good to see everyone. Hello. Welcome back to Angel's Heavenly Nails. And today is the toe design to match these elegant nails I did. And it's getting so close to my special event. In fact, it's tomorrow, the 28th. You guys will not get the video until the 6th. I'm always a week ahead of myself when I post these videos. But I'm excited about tomorrow. I can't wait. And I can't wait for you guys to know what this event was. So, I love you all very much. Let's get going on this toe design. I really had a good time doing this one, and it turned out beautiful. So, I love you all. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you in my outfit of the day. Love you all. Hey, guys. So, here's what I decided to go with for my special occasion on my toes. If you guys like this design, stay tuned, and I will show you how I did it. Hey everyone, so now I'm back to show you the toe design to go with that beautiful set of nails I did. And here's what I've got so far. I'm just doing this one here like I used on my fingers. And then I've tipped the baby toes with the funky fingers. Same one I'm going to use with my plate and I'm going to do it on my big toe. I'm gonna to do that same design I have on my thumb, I'm gonna do on my big toe. And then I just decided the rest would look pretty with just a French white tip. And I'm going to put little crystals in there too, the little small 6S stones. So I'm going to get started on these ones here. And I will draw in here so you can see better. All right, so just the same way I did the blue, I'm just taking the white and I'm going to tip it on the ends. Just with the white there. And again, I just set my brush down and I give it a little push. That way it um, lines up pretty straight then. Um, but these do not have to be straight. When you're doing a French look, it lines up pretty good on its own. If you're a little bit worried that it's not perfect, then you know what, just put a little line in it with a liner paint. That's what I do. But this one here are turning out fine. Don't worry if you get it on the skin. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. Hopefully you're able to see this. And I'm just gonna keep just putting the white to the tip. And I just figured that would be nice crisp and clean and beautiful looking and I'm gonna have to wear this toe design for well about a week or so so this will match with everything which is nice so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be back so that's what I got on the big toe isn't that pretty and I had to do like three different steps on that just to get it to go across the toe because it doesn't line up very good so but isn't that pretty and I'm gonna put crystals in it so I'll show you how I'm doing that I got this foot ready to go so we're gonna use that same plate that I used in my other design on my fingers. It's this one and we're using this image. So we'll get that set up here. And I'm gonna get it cleaned across, or I'm sorry, it is clean. Get the white paint going across and we'll start with the main image and get it on as far as we can. And we'll scrape it off and get my stamper that's stamped really good so now um, I'm gonna do it like this I'm just gonna set it on the toe and roll across like that real carefully there now that actually pretty much got the whole image Wow my last part wasn't working very good when I did it on my other toe, but hey, that worked out good. I've got a little left on here, so I'm gonna try just to get it into that little corner. Let's see if I can here. Let's see, get the toe lifted a little bit. And see if I can just get there. So see, that helped a lot. So now that is, that's pretty good right there. I know that it's not all the way to the corner, and I actually probably can get a little bit more of this. I actually will, and I'll be back. Okay, so you see I got it on and I put a little bit, over, you know, an overlap there, but that's fine. And now I'm gonna top coat it. I've already top coated the white ones. Before I put the crystals on, I want that to have one coat at least. 
and because I always do two. Then when I put the crystals on, I'll top coat again just to give it more protection and more shininess. I really like two. So we're just going to get this top coated here. Such a lovely image. I absolutely love this image. It's very elegant and very pretty. can be used for many occasions. It's going to work very good for the occasion I'm using it for. And I'm excited for you guys to finally know what it is when I do the outfit of the day. So just like that, I'm going to let that dry up and then I'm going to get the crystals on and I will return. Okay, now we're going to do the crystals here. So I'm going to get a little bit of glue right in here. I'm going to do a few in there and I'm going to do like three here and one in the corner there. And then down in here, I'm just going to do one crystal on each toe here. Just one little one down in the toe. I think that'll give it elegance and bling like I love. So I get all the glue going because it takes a while for this glue to dry. That's why I love it. So I've got my crystals all lined up here. And I'm going to start with three on that one. Because the toe's a little bigger, I can add a little bit more crystal. So we're going to do three right there. And let it start to dry before we really mess with them to push them in. And then just one over in the big part, or the side, put one right there. It's a lot of glue there, there, I got it, okay. Slide it down a little bit, there we go. I wanna get some of that glue out of there. Okay, all right, and then the rest, we just go across the baby toes and put them all in that glue. It's so funny. Like I said, I can pick these stones up so easy, but the second I'm on camera, I can't. It is so weird. I don't know if it's just a thing because I'm on film or what. But these little stones are stubborn when I'm trying to film. So I lost that one. Well, I didn't really lose it, but went under there. Not sure where it went. So get on my foot. Okay, now I'm just going to give them all a little push. Push it down by the cuticle and push it in. And then I'm going to give these guys a little push into the glue. Like that. And now I'm going to top coat. Get these stones out of the way so I don't knock them over. Now I'm going to put a coat over the top. That way it holds these crystals really good and makes this design nice and complete with a nice top coat again. Just makes it more shiny and more beautiful. I always like two top coats. I don't know if, I mean, I'm a two topper when it comes to the design itself, uh, you know, just the polish itself, but I also like two coats when I'm using uh, my clear top coat. I like it to be really shiny because the first coat always kind of seeps in. So to give it a real shiny top coat, some people will do it the first day and then top coat like three days later or whatever. I actually just do two right away. Let one dry and then do the second one. And I do that for my friends and family that come over to get nails done too. They like that because of course they can't come back to me. So they said, yeah, when they go to the salon, they only do one. And they said it definitely by the time they leave, it's not as shiny. And that's just because your first coat's always going to seep in a little bit. So it's always good to do too. I always do. Always, always have because I'm a person that likes things to be really shiny and beautiful and stay nice. And my design stayed nice for so long. Even though I'm changing this design more often, before I was doing YouTube, um, my designs would stay two, three weeks and still be gorgeous. So anyways, this is the design, the look. I'm going to use cuticle oil to soften them up, make them look good. I'll be back with the finished product. All right, I'm all done. And another successful toe design. I love it. It's elegant. It's beautiful. I know to you it's looking like I have some white around this toe right here that actually is just my um, cuticle oil. And it's just making it look like there's white. But it is very elegant, very beautiful. Love the way it turned out. I hope you guys love it. And I'm so excited. My event is tomorrow. And you guys will get the video a week later. But I'm excited. 
and I can't wait, like I said, to share it with all of you. You guys have a great night. Take care. I hope you try this design out. It's lovely for so many different occasions. Good night, everyone, and God bless. Thank you.